Hello, what is up guys, x over here, and today I'll be bringing you a brand new video. This will be a start of a new series on my channel, hopefully this will be a series that will actually continue. This will be the Nade Spot series. Um, first will be Evac, I'm going to show you all the important nades that might be helpful for SMD and maybe a little bit of hard point. And yeah, so first nade, you want to just go on top of these barrels uh, below top mid, this will be good if you have control of mid at the start so if you and a teammate want to just push this out maybe a teammate just goes your stairs maybe just watch your top mid or use a uh, nade to hit top mid which i'll show later in the video uh so yeah what you want to do is just go up to this corner here and what i need to uh proclaim is that uh these lineups here a lot of these uh indents here i will show you uh for ar and sub because they're slightly different and it can uh determine whether you will kill them or not so uh this will be to get them off a bomb from mid uh a bomb is getting more and more popular nowadays and yeah so i'm gonna go straight into it so what you want to do is just line up your bomb crosshair which i will have circled on the screen if you don't know what i mean right here and yeah what you want to do is just line that up with the indent along here along this uh, bar and the wall put your bomb cross on that that's for the sub and for ar everything needs to be a little bit lower like ever so slightly um but yeah so we're just going to throw that nade Easy, easy nade. It actually goes through the thing for some reason. And even directed impacted him on the back of the bomb where they usually plant it on that side. So, that is the first nade spot of the video. To be really good. I don't really recommend this for a 2v2 as you're sort of just lobbing it somewhere field. But it's really good to get them off B and not many people will expect a nade flying in from that direction. They will not have trophies there and all that jazz. So what I want to do is just get on top of Warren as much as you can and just throw it over straight and true. And uh, see I got a hit marker. Um, obviously it's not always going to kill them. But um, yeah, generally it matters how much you time it you want to wait a little bit like five ten seconds but yeah it's really good just for at least getting intel uh, intel is a very important thing in snd even if you don't manage to kill anyone you can get a few people weak maybe and uh, make them back off and get intel so that's just as good as winning a round when you're on defense all right so this one's going to be getting them off top mid this is actually really good for hard point uh, it will really help on hardpoint and SMD as well. Uh, qu quite a lot of teams just go mid to glass and just think that they're not going to get killed or something like that. And uh, sometimes they actually have an AR just watching the whole thing, maybe just laying down near that. So what you want to do to get them off top mid is you literally just line yourself up with this line here uh, by side plat, and you want to just line yourself up with the top of the roof here and then what a lot of these nades need to do is just you need to jump forward and it takes a little bit of practice i i really recommend just going to private match trying this with your friends because it's really important you can try it on each other and it'll be really good to the thing and yeah so we are going to do this one so you want to just line up there maybe if you're a sub you want to go a little bit up um like there but uh, it doesn't really matter i don't think so yeah we're just going to throw that over and that should get him off top mid like that pretty nice nade easy lineup nades and can potentially get you either that first blood and hard point and getting the ar out of the um first 30 seconds of the hill for example that can be really crucial to win a hard point and an s and d right this next nade spot is if you're off defense and for example, your last one alive, you know they're all around B, you're like, oh god, what am I going to do? Your only choice is to flank, really, and, you know, usually people would go AC and just try and hit one of them each time, but the guy desk is going to keep on just moving away, and they're going to plant the bomb out, so this is a way to get the guy off the bomb when they are in that position. Alright, this one will be for desk. I think uh, if you've got double nades, this will be the best because there'll be one for death and one for bomb here. Uh, 
What I recommend doing first is the Death one to see if they do generally like to head glitch on that because some teams do, some teams don't. But uh, yeah. So what you want to do guys is just line up anywhere between the locker door just like this and you want to you see this little line here you just want to put your bottom crescent in line of that a bit below it doesn't really matter uh, between this just put it somewhere along there whether you're sub or a up that's fine and yet yeah, you want to just hold it for a sec and just boost it forward and that should get the guy off desk just like so That's pretty nice, just to get them off the desk, generally. They could also get a two-piece, possibly. You never know. Um, but yeah. Also common dub spot to sit on the desk while the guy's planting the bomb. Alright, so what you want to do is just sit anywhere between the locker's door again to get them off B-bomb. And we see the one that we used last time to get them off it. What you want to do is this time use this one instead of that one there so um, yeah what you want to do is just sit anywhere lock this door line yourself up just go a little bit below this time you don't want completely below because you want to get it over the yellow barrel here and yeah so you want to just tick one go throw get them off b-bomb they're not going to stand a chance to get off that right so this is going to be the last nade spot of the episode uh, this is going to be a very crucial for if they like to push mid a lot like I see a lot of teams that just constant constantly just go mid and They somehow win rounds and you don't want them just winning rounds with them uh, playing quite bad like that Okay, so what you want to do is just line up your bottom cross there Like this if you're a sub I recommend just going a little bit up like that, but it doesn't really matter uh, Either way, I don't think it'll just uh, regularly get them off mid um, so yeah what you want to do is just throw a nade here and it will get them off jump up and yeah so that will get them off the mid push most of the time if they do uh, do that and also if you're running a double nade class it will be uh, very good to um, also just nade that quickly run away go to side plat and nade top mid that can be a really combo piece uh, if they do like to push mid so if you guys want more nade spots uh, make sure to subscribe and until the next one guys see ya